Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. August 2024 is like no other month, and God told me to keep two items ready at the door of our houses in the month of August 2024. Be of alert mind, child of God, because God is sending you an urgent sign ahead of time to keep certain items ready in your home that will save you and your family in the coming days. Dear child of God, I believe that every word I share with you has been guided by a force greater than ourselves, a force that desires nothing but only your well-being and spiritual protection. So, give respect to these words ahead and listen carefully. Yesterday evening, when I was praying and seeking God's guidance for the things that are happening in the world currently, God spoke to me about something really very unique and informative. A few months ago, God informed me about four items that every Christian must keep in their homes before the return of Jesus Christ. But this time, God is asking every believer to keep more items ready in their homes in the month of August 2024. So, before I tell you what God spoke to me that I have also written down, I would like to share a scripture with you first. Deuteronomy 6 2 6 9 says, And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. God spoke of two major items to be kept in the household of every believer, as these two items shall act as a channel of safeguard and his love in the month of August 2024. Now, this is what I heard the Lord say exactly, word for word. Children, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. In this time, in this season, I speak to you with urgency and great care. You have seen the signs. You have felt the shift in the spiritual realm. And now I call you to action. In the month of August 2024, there shall be an unveiling, a great revealing, and my people must be prepared. Keep these two items ready at the door of your houses, the holy or ill, and a printed copy of Psalm 9-1. These are symbols of my covenant with you, and they shall serve as a shield against the forces of darkness that seek to invade your homes. The holy or ill, blessed and consecrated, shall be a sign of my anointing. Anoint your doorposts and the entryways of your homes, for this oral shall be a barrier against the spirit of chaos and destruction. As you anoint your homes, pray fervently, invoking my name, and I shall send my angels to encamp around you. The printed copy of Psalm 91, known as the Psalm of Protection, shall be a constant reminder of my promises and covering over you. Place this print out at the threshold of your doors and let it be a declaration that you trust in my word, that no evil shall befall you. Remember the scriptures, my children, for in them you shall find strength and guidance. My children, let me remind you what Psalm 91 says. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, my child. This promise holds true even today, for I am the same yesterday, today and forever. In this month of August 2024, you will witness events that will shake the foundations of the earth. There will be signs in the heavens and on the earth below blood and fire and vapor of smoke, but fear not, for I am with you. My spirit will guide you, my word will sustain you, and my presence will protect you. Gather together in prayer, seek my face, and listen, listen to my voice. Do not be led astray by the deceptions of this world, but stay rooted in my truth. The enemy seeks to divide and destroy, but I have come to give you life and life abundantly. Stand firm in your faith, and you shall see my salvation. My children, let me tell you, the days ahead will be challenging, but remember that you are not alone. I have given you my spirit, the comforter, to lead you into all truth. I have given you my word, a lamp to your feet and the light to your path and I have given you one another to support and encourage each other in love and unity. So, my children, as you prepare for August 2024, keep these two items ready, the holy or ill, and a printed copy of Psalm 91, 
Let them be constant reminders of my presence and my promises. Anoint your homes, declare my protection, and stand firm in your faith. For I am with you always, to the very end of the age, with all my love, your loving Heavenly Father. So, beloved child of God, this is the message I heard yesterday during prayer, and I realize how much hearing God is. He's clearly telling us all that you are not forsaken. You are not abandoned, but you are being watched by the divine. This gentle warning is a sign of your faithfulness, that God still wants to protect you from rising calamities in the world. So, dear brothers and sisters, heed this divine instruction. We are living in unprecedented times, and God, in his infinite mercy, is guiding us every step of the way. The urgency of this message cannot be overstated. The spiritual battles we face are real, and the enemy is relentless in his pursuit to bring chaos and destruction. But we serve a mighty God who is a shield and defender. I have already told in one of my previous videos where the Spirit of the Lord has revealed about the possible events coming in the month of August 2024. So, as we enter August 2024, let us be vigilant and proactive. Let us not be complacent or dismissive of these signs. The holy or ill and the printed copy of Psalm 91 are not mere symbols, but powerful reminders of God's covenant and protection. By anointing our homes and displaying Psalm 91 at our doorposts, we are actively participating in God's divine plan for our safety and deliverance. So, gather your families, share this message, and together prepare for what is to come. Let your homes be centuries of prayer and worship, that every anointing be accompanied by heartfelt prayers, calling upon the name of the Lord. As you do so, you will create a spiritual fortress impenetrable by the forces of darkness. In the days ahead, we will witness God's mighty hand at work. There will be miracles, signs, and wonders. There will be challenges, but there will also be victories. There will be judgment, and there will be punishment. So, stand firm in your faith, hold fast to the promises of God, and let the Holy Spirit guide you. Remember, we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. So, if you believe that you are more than conquerors in this evil world, then do type, I am a conqueror, and join me in this beautiful prayer right now. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and love, acknowledging your sovereignty and infinite wisdom. We thank you for your unfailing love and protection, which surrounds us every day. You have instructed us to keep the sacred items at the door of our homes, holy or ill, and a printed copy of Psalm 91. We humbly obey this divine directive, trusting in your perfect plan and providence. Father, we ask for your blessings upon the holy or ill. As we anoint our doorposts and entryways, may it serve as a powerful symbol of your anointing and presence. Let it be a barrier against the forces of darkness that seek to infiltrate our homes, our lives, and our minds. We pray that your angels will encamp around us, guiding us from all harm and evil. We lift up the word of Psalm 91, a declaration of your promises and protection. Father, as we place this printed copy at the threshold of our homes, let it be a constant reminder of your faithfulness. It says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. So, we claim this promise, Lord, and ask that you cover us with your feathers, and under your wings, we will find refuge. Almighty God, we acknowledge that the times we are living in are fraught with challenges and uncertainties. Yet, we find peace and assurance in knowing that you are with us. You have promised never to leave us nor to forsake us, and we stand firm on this truth. We pray for discernment and wisdom in the coming days. Father, open our eyes to see the signs you have placed before us and tune our ears to hear your voice clearly. Let us not be swayed by the deceptions of this world, but let our hearts be anchored in your love and truth. We also lift up our families, our communities, and the body of Christ. As we prepare for the days ahead, May we be united in faith, love, and prayer. 
strengthen our resolve to be a beacon of light in the midst of darkness, sharing your gospel and proclaiming your goodness to those around us. Let us be the hands and feet of Jesus, serving others with compassion and grace. We pray for your protection over our loved ones, that they may experience your peace that surpasses all understanding. In closing, Lord, we surrender the month of August 2024 into your capable hands. We trust in your divine wisdom and perfect timing. As we follow your instructions and keep the holy or ill and printed copy of Psalm 91 ready at our doors, may we experience your presence in unprecedented ways. We thank you for your unfailing love and guidance, and we commit to living in obedience to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.